my god. I blew an axle. Chase! I blew an axle! Oh! Ready? Yeah. Chad, I don't know what to do. So what do I do? I don't know yet. I've never been in this situation before. <laughs> All right, guys, so before we jump into this video, I wanted to go over this real quick because I don't think we addressed the issue that we were having. So if you guys watched my last video, you guys will know that we recently broke the axle on the Q50. Now, we have a built LSD in the Q50. So, I mean, listen, with enough power, you could kind of break anything. But this one was a little different. We literally spent five to seven days just trying to take out the axle, which is not a usual thing. The LSD that we have is the Z1 R190 built LSD. And I wanna clear the air when I say this, that I have absolutely zero problems with Z1. I mean, the differential braking, that's obviously something that doesn't really occur too often, and I happen to be the unlucky one that suffered the consequence, but, what do you do? Well, we're currently trying to figure out this situation, but I just wanted to let you guys know how many days was just dedicated to trying to get this axle out. And within these clips, you'll see these are actually the last few days that we were actually able to get some sort of progress. That way it wasn't just constant banging and pry bars and hammers and uh, everything under the sun that we used to try and get this axle out just wasn't working. So. Here you guys go, just to give you guys some context for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and... All right. Oh, more exhaust stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh! Okay, that scared me. <laughs> All right, what's next, Chase? Oh, that, okay. And then he's gonna, yup, and out. Ready? Yeah. Are these bearings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to be so careful. Yeah, see. Going back down. Yeah, but, it's not but is that up. is that necessarily a good thing? Is not what really. No. Chad, I don't know what to do. Three twenty-eight a.m. Nothing. A little bit. You want to trade? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Send it. We did. Wait, you did? Yeah. <laughs> this is what this is. Oh, I didn't see. Your hand was in the way. Hey. All right, so I look like a mess. 
After calling some really good friends, really qualified friends who's actually done shit like this before, we ended up finally getting the axle out and I called them to see what else we could possibly do because after taking out the axle, we inspected the shaft and the splines look fine and what the we thought was the issue was being the C-ring folded over the axle shaft. That wasn't the case at all. Now we look inside the differential. All we see is just a bunch of metal shavings and that shouldn't be there. The goal is right now, me and Chase, we're gonna take apart the differential just to check out the planetary gears and the primary gears that are inside of the differential just to see if maybe those ended up getting dinged or tweaked or... Honestly, I don't know what could have happened because the spline looks totally fine and I honestly, at this point, I just want to get this thing fixed. So what... Metal shavings, <sighs> yeah, we're just, we're gonna clean everything up at this point. Alright, so this is where we're at now with the differential. I've taken apart literally the whole entire LSD. I've taken apart all the planetary gears. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm trying to basically get this one. This is out of the passenger side. This is where the axle wasn't broken. This one gave me a very easy time to be able to take out. It's just Chad. It's okay. I know. It's just Chad. It's just Chad. Are you proud of me? I took apart my diff. Yeah. Where's the, where is it? I want to see it. It's over there. That was like the what? only way. I took what? the whole thing apart. Did you take the dryer shaft out? Yeah, it's yeah, right there. You behind you. Put this back together? Look, look, look. Yes. I kept everything in order. This is... That's what I'm talking about. That little jagged shit. No, that's the problem. That's an issue, right? That's definitely a fucking problem. How bad of an issue is that? I don't even... I can't take this gear out. That's the only gear that I can't take out. Uh -oh. No, that's not good, dude. So what do I do? I don't know yet. I've never been in this situation before. Where's the, where's the axle that came we out? We can't put the axle back in, where's right? Where's the piece that came out? This is it? Right, yeah. That's this it. is the piece? Yeah. Untouched, right? Yeah, what the Literally, it's fuck? perfect, Something right? Something broke in right? here. Right? Something is broken in here. Look at the C-ring, dude. The snap ring is perfectly fine. I've never the seen spline it. isn't even jagged. It doesn't look twisted. Even this edge isn't jagged. Literally, you just feel metal shards. Look at that. That It shouldn't be like that, that right? It shouldn't be like that, no. We didn't install anything. All we did was put axles in and put your diff in. Like, that's not, that's not like we built the diff. Yeah, it's Something's, three bolts to install the diff. This is not right. This, this corrosion here. This, that's not right though. I this is the first thing I've ever brought to you to where you said I cannot help you. No, because I don't do diffs like this. Exactly, what is broken? This, 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 this is supposed the gear? to come out. This is there's something broken, yeah. This is supposed to pop out. Just yeah, just like that one. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not. Yeah, it's broken. Something is broken. You might have broken this entire thing. How do you break a diff? I have no idea. No, I, yeah, I don't know anything about this, yeah, but I, I do understand. know that that's definitely got to be able to move. Cause this is supposed to it's supposed to spin yeah it locked up this is supposed to spin but how this is what did broke, it this is what broke your axle but how is it still this is what broke your your axle didn't break your diff broke and broke your axle this is supposed to spin freely like this like you see how this one's spinning this one is locked up this one locked up locked this up and instantly that's how much power it had it literally locked that and got stuck this broke not your axle yeah, that's what happened. This is, where are these that came out? Did these come out of here? No, 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 These, these go in the deep ones. These go in the tall ones, specifically. But well, which one came out of here? No, 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 these, well, these ones. Yeah, these are supposed to spin, and they're not spinning. So, how because was I able to spin the axle? Because this one spins, and this is the axle that But was how was I able to spin this axle and spin the other? I was able to spin that axle. Because this whole thing was spinning. Yeah. Oh. It's basically like you welded the rear end. Basically, is what happened. Not 
Yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, in an instant. Yeah. So this is your this is your your final drive. Like, but thank you know, God this didn't break. Yeah, but can I just replace this? I have no idea. What is this? A wave track? Get that that. That's <laughs> did you see that? Get that. <laughs> Stock tips are cheap. Stock tips are probably like what? Three hundred dollars. I could literally get one from uh, what's yeah. it called? Uh, what is it? Turbo Toys. Three hundred dollars, maybe two fifty. Get one so you could drive around and we could figure this out, and then we'll have two diffs for when this happens the second time. You feel me? No, this is like. I don't know, That's new bad. Way. Yeah, this is. That's bad. bad. I'm pretty positive that you're. I'm pretty positive. That if you were to put this back together, if we could like figure out how this goes back together, you're gonna need this whole unit. And you're gonna need two new ones. In you're gonna need this, you're gonna need this, you need two of the, yeah, this, this, and this whole unit. And then put it back together. That's what you're gonna need to put it back together. 100%.